Hi everybody, this is Debbie from Creative Thoughts For You and I'm back with another video. I hope you're all keeping well and you have been enjoying this lovely sunny weather that we've had. Anyway, this is the uh, project I thought we'd do today. Um, it's a quick card and I'm actually quite pleased with the way it turned out. Um, what a lot of you would already probably know is that these are actually just scrap pieces of card that you've stuck onto a, onto a base front so we all get these bits we never know what to do with them so I thought I would just make a rainbow background and put it on the front of a card now I've also used the um, happy birthday oh I'm going to use the happy birthday on this one I've already used the thank you uh, thin it's from stamping up I'm going to use the happy birthday ones today um, I've also used, um, I've got the meant to be stamp set, but I also ordered the dies. Now the dies, I like this, I've used this die today to actually cut this out, but I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be using all the little hearts that came out of that um, to actually add to my project after we've done it. So you can use any hearts you've got, maybe from a punch or or from another um, die set that you might have. Um, we're going to need some scissors today um, and some glue and I think that's about it apart from the Whisper White cardstock for the base and this measures eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. Did I say that right? Yeah, eight and a quarter by five and three quarters and I've scored it at four and one eighth. And the uh, base card that I'm going to glue all these little pretty pieces on is um, four and, sorry, I will get this right in a minute, five and a half by three and seven eighths. So that's what we're going to be using. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm just going to glue my pretty strips in a, some sort of pretty rainbow colour onto my cardstock. So I'll take my glue and I'm just going to put a bit on half the card. I don't want to put it on all the card because it might dry so I'm just going to do ink I'm just going to glue up half the card stock and I'm going to start by putting my I think I need a bit of glue in the corner I've missed that bit there we go right so I'm going to start with my red piece and then I'm going to go yellow that's it and I'm going diagonally because if you go um, if you put them this way on, it's more you've got to get them actually really straight because otherwise you can get halfway through a project and they can actually sort of look a bit skew with. So I do this because it's a bit more giving. Um, pink, shall I try a green one next? That's it. Now, orange. I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue up here because I haven't got enough of the glue for the uh, orange piece to stick to. So there we go. Make sure it's nicely butted up to the other pieces. Now I'm going to actually put some more glue on the other half of the card. Just like that. Um... Right, let's use, let's have a little tiny bit, I think, shall we? Yeah, because they're all sort of roughly the same width at the moment. Let's give it a bit of contrast and blue. Now, I've used these colours because I've actually, I've made quite a few of these cards up and I've actually used some of the night really nice sort of bright, bright colours, so I thought I would try doing the rainbow with these colours. Now I'm going to repeat what I've just done. You don't have to, you can put on whatever you want but I just like the fact that it's repeated. Now because I haven't got another piece of yellow, because that's the only piece of yellow I've got left, I'm actually going to trim this up as far as the yellow. I think I've got pink and I'm going to put the yellow then I'm going to actually put it up right up like that so I can actually save a bit more of my cardstock. And then we're going to go pink. Um, 
use the same one and then we're going to use we've got a tiny bit of green here so I use that piece and I'm actually going to use this tiny bit of orange which I'm actually going to pull whoops I'm going to pull up that's it I'm going to make sure I've got a little bit of glue on that bit orange and right we'd better go with purple aren't we so we'll use that piece of purple and that's it. That's our background actually done. Actually, I think I've missed a little bit there. Look, so what I'm going to do before it dries, I'm going to quickly move it over. Trying to fit it back into the asset, back into the groove of things. There we go. That's better. I'm going to turn this over and all I'm going to do is simply cut off the cardstock just like that all the way around the four edges There we go. And then I'm just going to move all these to one side. Now I'm actually going to get my bone folder. And I'm actually going to run it over at the top. This will help it um, stick, to, obviously stick to the back. But it'll also flatten. I don't know if you find sometimes when you cut your cardstock, you've got a little edge left from where it's been trimmed. This will actually flatten those out as well as well so you can do it that this way and i think i've missed a little bit of glue there so i need to put a tiny bit under there make sure that's stuck down and there's our background it's, it's actually i really like using this i think it's actually really cool um right now what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to take my card base and i'm going to put some glue on the back of my cardstock that we've just created and I'm going to stick it to my card base making sure that it's equal on all four edges that's it that's fine I'm going to put that to side now to wait for it to dry and what I'm going to do next is I think actually I'm going to bring these little hearts in that I cut out of the uh, I took out of the shape and I'm going to cover them with I haven't got a wink of cello at the moment I've got um, Spectrum Noir which is a glitter, like a glitter pen so I'm just shaking it and I'm going to Make colour these in and it will make them nice and glossy. Give them a bit of a sparkle. Because everybody likes a bit of a sparkle, don't they? There we go. I think I'm only going to do, th I might do four actually, because I don't know what size I'm going to use yet. There we go. So I'm actually going to move those over now I've done them. Move that one out of the way. That's it. Now I'm going to take my silicon mat and I've taken the um, happy birthday thinlet and I've cut three 
of these happy birthdays out. Okay, now what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to put some glue in the corner of my mat. Now I would usually normally use a sponge dauber, a finger sponge dauber, but I haven't got any. So I'm actually going to be using one of these little fellas that I have got. And I'm going to put that up there and I'm just going to stipple all my glue over the happy birthday. So here we go, nearly done. going to take a happy birthday and I'm going to glue it on top of this one. I'm going to line them up and this will actually give the card a bit of dimension and they won't get squashed if it goes through the post then as well so because these are pretty, will be pretty solid after they've um, dried. There we go. So that's when you can see it's starting to get a bit thicker. Look, I was going to move it down now because I don't want it to stick to the back, and I'm going to do the same again. So let me move my mat up just so you can see. this and it's quick as a quick quick technique I've seen people using the back of the hand put the glue on the back of the hand and then they just step it on to, with a piece of sponge then but I don't like the glue on my my hand so I use it this way there we go and I'm gonna put this one on the top and I'm again I'm gonna line it up then with the others. There we go. And now what I'm going to do with this now is I'm just going to turn my mat around because I don't want the glue going on the front of my sentiment so I'm going to put it like that and I'm going to put the glue now on the back I hope you can see you can see I tap a little bit off for it so I don't want loads of uh, loads of glue I'm going to turn it round there we go I think that's all of it. I'm going to take my card base and just move that out of the way. So I don't want anything getting stuck to it. Move my card base and I shall I put it that way? Or should I put it that way? I think I'm going to put it that way. So I'm going to put that in the middle. Just give it a press down. And there we have our, I don't know whether you can see the, because it's three stuck together. And now I'm going to take my tweezers, oops, and my little heart. And I'm going to put a blob of glue on the back, or you can put dimensional if you wanted to, it's entirely up to you. I'm just using a blob of glue. I'm going to put one there. Again, another piece of blob of glue. Don't need, don't need a lot. Whoops. Um, put that there, I think. And then I'll use another one. And put it. 
top there, I think. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do is take my Spectrum Noir glitter brush again and I'm just going to glitter up the hearts again. Give them a bit more shine. You could colour the happy birthday in with glitter if you wanted to as well. But I don't particularly want to on this video, so I'm not going to. There we go, and that's our card for today. Real quick and simple card to make. I hope you enjoyed uh, my video. Um, any questions, please just message me on my Facebook page, which is Creative Thoughts For You by Deborah Paul. Um, and I will catch you again with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.